Hello. Uh, it's been a while. But let's jump into it. Um, so, this is the old version. I'm working on a new version. So, let's have a look at what happens here just to get a sense of it. So, you insert a handwriting section. You can um, write in that. Um, you can type above that and type below that. And that's an important part. So, if I lock that, oh, let's put another handwriting section underneath actually. So as soon as I add a handwriting section, you'll notice that one locks and gets smaller. It shrinks the page or shrinks that embed within the page. Um, and then this one becomes active. Um, and as I write to that, um, if I lock that, you'll notice, now watch where things are in the page. I'll put a line here just so we can see it a bit easier. If I lock that, it actually shrinks a little bit and it kind of jumps backwards and then it shrinks um, the page. And you'll notice when I shrunk it then, or when I locked it then or unlocked it, it kind of flickers sometimes. See, it flicked, flickered then. It kind of was a bit slow in running the animation of expanding. So I've been trying to make all that a bit more seamless as well. Um, so let's close that and let's go to my actual testing vault. Now I'm going to put some text above this. I'll add some text below that just so we can see how things move. So now I'm going to click on this bottom one and notice that um, not much of a visual jump happens when I, when I lock this. So now when I lock it, it's pretty much in exactly the same spot. So it's, it's, it's much more seamless when I lock and unlock. But what I've also enabled is that um, if you click on something else, that unlocks, but it doesn't lock this one. So you can have multiple unlocked at the same time. Bear in mind that this is a little bit of an experiment um, because I'm not sure how many will be able to be unlocked before it starts slowing down people's computers. Hopefully that doesn't really happen. What you'll also notice is as I'm writing, if I had text that went all the way here, as I'm writing in here, these buttons are covering up that text. So if you click on the text, those buttons move down. At the moment, I've got a bug where if you click on those, or if I write in here, whoops, if I write in here, and then I click on one of these buttons, it also moves down, which is not ideal. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to keep it like this, where it moves up and down. Um, I might try and find a different approach. You can have three menu bars visible at the same time. One here, one here, one here. And they can all be set to different things, which is not ideal because you can think you're on the eraser here and then you click up here and find, oh, I'm actually on the pen or the other way around. Um, so then I'm probably going to want to combine these menus and I'll probably put it up here somewhere. Um, but the problem with that is if you also have a drawing open at the same time, that's going to need a different menu. So it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, so a bunch of things to try the, the efficiency of it, the lag, sorry, not the lag, but the, just the, um, under the hood, the performance of it is, is getting better because I've made some improvements under the hood. That's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. If you did, um, hopefully I can bring you some better updates soon. Um, but yeah, thanks heaps. See you later.